Oh, hi, it's Rob. And I'm in, well, you can kind of see where I am. Uh, but I'm in here for a very special reason. And that reason is that. So uh, I had a little issue with a leak coming from upstairs in the shower. And uh, in order to keep that plaster from falling on my roommate's head, I'm going to first pull it down, and I'm going to have to try and cut a hole in the lath and see if I can see the drain and figure out where the leak is coming from. I do have another test that I want to run first, and that's going to be I'm going to plug the shower drain upstairs and just turn on the shower head and see if any water leaks. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'll shut the shower off and then I'll let the water drain and see if it's coming from the supply side or the drain side. My suspicion is it's coming from the drain side, but let's see. There's not a lot of room to work in here. But let's see what we can do. Oh, man. It's just crumbled dust. This is also known as the bathroom of the elder gods. Not very nice. Mm. Now this stuff is still fairly solid, but I think I have to get up over in this area. It's probably up right in there somewhere. <sighs> right. I think what I'm going to have to do is go upstairs and try and see if I can gain access to it from up there. But first let's test out and see if it's supply side or drain side. So I have the shower running up here. The bathtub drain is blocked, so it's building up water in there. And we're gonna do that for a while. I'm gonna go downstairs and see if there's any leakage. Okay, so the downstairs bathroom is here. And the drain for the bathtub is somewhere up here. I'm not sure exactly where, but as you can see, there's no good way to get to it. So I'm probably going to have to access it from the back, which is a total pain in the ass. Oh yeah, that looks like it's a supply side leak. Okay, well, now I know. Now of course, to get access, I'm going to have to go in through that access panel, right back there. And I really hope I don't have to move these drawers. Because that would be a pain in the ass. I mean, this is going to be a pain in the ass no matter what. But I'd like it to be less of a pain in the ass if I could. Alright. 
just before I get ahead of myself, uh, we know that there is a leak on the supply side. Uh, I haven't tried the drain side yet, so I'm going to do that now and see if there's also a leak on the drain side. I'm suspecting not, but, you know, it's a test. We'll run through a couple of scenarios. I want to try and divide it down and figure out where the problem is so that I can focus on fixing it rather than trying to find it again. Okay, I can definitely hear it draining, but I'm not seeing any leaks on the water side, or uh, on the drain side. That's promising. Another thing that I find odd is that the leak was coming from in here. The actual bathtub drain is over on that side of the wall, or the, the shower is over on that side, and it's not on this side. But why is it leaking here? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, one more test I want to run. I'm going to turn on just the bathtub faucet and see if the leak works with the bathtub faucet or if it's just in the shower side. Okay, it's been running for a few minutes and I still don't see water. So it looks pretty good Chances are good that it is on the shower head side and not in the supply lines. That's still really strange. But yeah, I'm going to have to go back in that wall and have a look. This is my excited face. I really don't want to go back there. All right, uh, this turns out to be a royal pain in the butt to move because it's screwed to the wall and I'd have to remove the entire thing to get to remove the screws here. However, I was able to get this open and I'm going to see if I can crawl in through the bottom. Doesn't that sound like fun? And of course, personal protection equipment is a must. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. Uh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Uh, I've cleared some of the cobwebs out and put down some cardboard. <coughs> you can actually get an idea. Thank you, Piper. I can actually get an idea of what's back here. So this is what it looks like. Now, if I, Piper, uh, I believe the thing to do, Piper, stop it. <clears throat> oh, stop it, Piper, out of my face. I got a dog issue. Piper doesn't like it when I wear masks. She gets a little upset and tries to take them off. And I have a very healthy dog right now. Piper, off of me. Get off of me. Go. 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 <sighs> Alright, now that I have the mask on properly, and I don't have a dog immediately in my face, uh, yeah, that's um, plumbing. Okay. I think the easiest thing to do it will turn the shower on and then watch from back here and see if I can find where the leak is happening. Let's see, it's probably, okay, now I get a better idea of how it could be leaking where it is. Well, only when the shower is on. Alright, this is intriguing. And so the area where the uh, plaster is falling is right up down here. I can see the hole. What I can't see is where 
anything, isn't it? This is going to drive me nuts. I can see that spot where it is, upstairs. But I don't see where the water is coming from. The only thing I can think of is that it's coming from around the tub somewhere. It's not actually coming from the plumbing. So I think it is time to start cutting some lath. And that's just, ugh. It's definitely coming from over here. It looks like it's dripping from the waste pipe. And this is definitely wet. So, alright, I'm going to get some gloves and clean some of this crap out. Alright, this is from the top side. And, I don't know if you can see, way back in that corner, it's a little wet. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in here. And right back in there. And it looks like the water is leaking from right around the tub but close to the inside I wonder I think I got to go back in uh, back in the cave also discovered that little issue you can see all the way to outside found an old coke bottle So you know that thing where when you rent a house, a lot of people are going, well, I should buy a house because it's so much, so much better than renting because then all the money that you'd be paying into rent, you get to keep. Yeah. What happens is you end up uh, turning around and spending it on repairs. Alright, so that leak is coming from down here somewhere. I am not seeing it. I can't see up in there. Uh, this bathroom needs a major remodel. But <coughs> let's fix the leaks first. 
So what's happening is water is building up, traveling down over here and down there. So the leak isn't actually behind the wall, it's up front. Now I have to figure out how in the hell to fix it. Water is dripping from right here. Where is it coming from? So, I think what I will do for now is just put this on here so any water doesn't get down into that cock and see if that is actually the issue. Uh, I just want to verify that this fixes the problem and if it does then I know that that's, that's something that I need to solve. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but uh, at least it's manageable. And it's much better than crawling around behind all the uh, all the walls. Uh, this is so fun. All right, that helped, but does not fix the problem. There's another leak that's somewhere, I think it's I don't we know we're quite where it's coming from, but it's getting underneath that, uh, that plastic barrier. So I don't know what to do right now. I'm going to have to think about it more, but for now I have to stop. It's getting late and I don't have any more energy to try and put into it. So uh, it's a patch for now. I have to do a lot more work later. It might end up having to tear out that tubs around and do something entirely new. So, I guess we'll see. Alright, for now. Peace.